Yo, 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 what is going on, boys? And welcome back to the channel once again today, where we're going to be playing what is probably still one of the most broken decks in the game, in my opinion. And this is going to be some Sparky Goblin Giant. Um, I have messed up already. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> but, yeah, boys. Uh, but today, we're playing this deck that I think I, I don't know how it hasn't really been something done about it. Um, you, I've made multiple videos about decks like this before. You all have heard me complain if you're someone that watches the channel. Um, but, yeah, but today, we're going to be giving it a try and see if it's still as broken as it has been in the past. And, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so, we don't have the best of starts. I kind of flopped. Um, but, you know, we're going to ignore that and pretend it didn't happen. This guy goes in for a weird fireball there. Um, but we, next time he does do for that, we're a bit more prepared. We have our mini pack in hand. Now, there is a lot of variations of um, Sparky. Yeah, let's go Sparky ready, actually. <laughs> well, why not? There's a lot of variations of Sparky and Goblin Giant. This is one of the best versions, in my opinion. Um, you kind of have that Mother Witch of the mini pack as a mini tank. You just have a lot of good damage leaders in the deck so it just works out well now we don't have our goblin giant so we're gonna go for the knight here and that isn't gonna be ideal but if i go for a fireball on top of that i'm gonna drop the rage here oh that's really badly timed but if i oh i thought i could have got that in front and um, what's he gonna, is he gonna activate a little principality he is not now he does a zap so that's something that we do need to be on the lookout for uh, we can just take that archer up to the left, and I will go in for my goblin giant. Or take the archer on the right, I will go in for my goblin giant on the left. And, you know what? Let's just do what a true sparky player would do, and just go in for a sparky here. Um, why not? And we're going to eat our words for... Wow, we're going to get punished big time. Actually, maybe not. We do get a bit of damage off. And we can go in in front of this with the knights. So we actually aren't in that bad position. Okay, cool. I'm going to fireball these in 2, 1, and now. Before that knight stops. We're on the tower, boys. And let's hit him with his, his emotes and spam his whole time back. Because that just feels so, so good. We're going to go in for the goblin giant here in the center. Try and tank as much as possible. Sparky's going to die, but we still have that goblin giant on the tower. Which will do big work. Okay, what do we do? We'll go Sparky into that. We have our mini pack in case he decides to go Battle Ram. He's going to go Battle Ram in the back. Don't know why he's doing that, to be honest. Uh, we can just knight that. And we can go for mini pack here now. That cleared that up. We're going to go Fireball here. I don't know why, just just because. Bit of fun. And we'll laugh at him because, you know, he deserves it. <laughs> and yeah, boys, that will be it for game number one. Pretty easy win. Let's have shared the game number two and yes guys we are back for game number two against this guy so we will just start off with our knight in the back i always like to do this you know it's three elixir it's not too big an investment and it gets our first cycle on that evo which obviously as you guys all know this game is pretty much won by just who can get to their evos first um, and yeah but that's just the way the game is so we need to try and get these evos down as quick as possible uh, just in case you're wondering why if you watch a lot of my videos why i always do that we're going to take the fireball damage here. There's nothing really else I can do into that without, you know, just being a waste of elixir. And he's going to go in for the ability very early. So we can go mini P.E.K.K.A. And I know fireball doesn't kill, but I didn't really want to leak elixir. So it just kind of makes the most sense. Let me go goblin down here in front. Actually eat the shot from the dark prince. And then hopefully, oh, never mind. <laughs> the shot's going to do splash damage. That's, that's fine. And um, can we get one, maybe two hits off? No, just one hit. One hit's fine. Um, okay, we will go for our knight here in the center. And after the lot they lock the archers lock on our knight, we'll go minions on top of them. Okay, we went a little bit early, but that's fine. He's gonna split minions, but they will all come over to the right side. No, they won't, okay. Apparently that's not as close as the tower is. Logic. Logic, my friends. Okay, now we can go for a nice sparky here. This sparky should do bits unless he just pulls out a rogue electro wizard, which I mean He could. He very well could. Let me just go for the early mini packet here. Take that out. Deal with that before it does any funny business. Um, I would have liked, to be honest, if he had hit that ability, but he didn't. However, we ha can we can eat that shot from the Dark Prince. I don't mind that. Um, we It's better off eating that shot and being able to go in for a big attack up the right here, which we can right about now. Okay, we have our fireball at the ready, so we can fireball this. Yeah, we're just going to need a fireball the archer probably the better option let me go for the rage here 
just try and get a shot of the tower, which we do. Very nice, very nice. We pretty much take tower. Not completely, but near enough. Um, to the point where we just need to cycle two fireballs and we win. So we're in a pretty good position now. What I'm going to do is Sparky. I'll just Sparky same lane. He goes in for Giant in the back. Yeah, he can't. He doesn't really have time to be doing that. And especially with us having Mini Pekka, he need to be a bit more uh, proactive. I go in for the Mother Witch here. First time really playing the Mother Witch in both games so far. I know I played it last game to activate King Tower, but or I think was that? I think I did. Yeah. Um, oh, he's going to go in for Graveyard, but we took so we took his tower. Um, let me just go for the Rage here, actually. Take out a couple of... Oh, okay, okay. We might lose tower here. No, come on. Nice. And we go Goblin Giant. Doesn't matter, game's over. Uh, let's have a shoot in the game number three, boys. Okay, and yes, guys, welcome back to our last game of the episode against Mr. King from the Brazil team. Now... We're going to wait and see what he does. We don't... Oh, he's going to go in for a very aggressive play. We can mini pack a Mother Witch this. Yeah, I don't really like the Mother Witch that much, to be honest. I was kind of thinking maybe I should swap the Mother Witch out for something a little bit more... Applies pressure, like the Little Prince. Um, but, you know, it's just it suits this deck. I'm just not good with the card, which is, a, which is just a skill issue. That's a me problem. <laughs> but maybe you guys might prefer... I think Little Prince would fit really well into this deck. If you do use this kind of deck... And you're looking for a bit of a change up. I do think that would be a good option instead of the Mother Witch. But given I'm just bad with the Mother Witch, my Mother Witch is like level 10 or 11. That's why I'm doing this in uh, one of the challenges. Um, but yeah, so I mean that's just that's just a me issue. I'm just bad with it. Uh, but I don't even remember what this guy took did all that damage with. My my short term memory is not serving me well here. Let me go in for a Sparky in the back. I don't even know what else to do. Oh, he did it with Lumberloon, didn't he? So he's Lumberloon and Recruits. This is a very random deck. Okay, let me go in for my Goblin Giant here in the center to tank everything, pretty much. Okay, nice. This should do a lot of damage. And if he goes in for that Little Prince ability, that'll be pretty nice for us. I'd rather him go in for it sooner rather than later. And if we go in for the Mini Peck in front now, that'll clean that up real easy. Okay, cool, cool. We're going to go for the Mother Witch here. I don't know real reason why. I just kind of went for it. I, don't, I actually don't know. That was really bad play. I can't lie. That pulled that instead of the Sparky. Okay. Can we get the shot off? We can. Oh, we got so lucky. That's nice. I mean, it's a it's a deck of... It's a toxic deck versus a toxic deck. Whatever happens, happens, you know. you got to take the wins you can get. He's going to go in for Lumberloon here. I need to put money on it. He's just going to spam it right about. Never mind. Okay, so we're just going to recycle. We're going to go Sparky in the back again. Um, I would, I'm would, i expecting a rush up this right lane or something any second now. Let me just go in for Fireball here. Yeah, he is going to go for the rush up the right lane. And I don't really have the means of defending it. Which is a little annoying. Um, if I go for the Rage here, can I clean that up before it gets too much done? I, I stopped that last hit, which is quite nice. I can't complain. Let me recycle a Sparky. Go again. He still has some evil recruits going. Which is wild. <laughs> okay, let me go for the minions now. Quick. And we're going to lose this last game, boys. Which is a bit unfortunate. I don't think there's any way I can defend this. Unless we go for a well-timed fireball. But it's not really going to matter. Because he does have the Skelly Dragons to back it up. Um, he's crying at us. Is that over? It is over, boys. It's over. It's so over. <laughs> okay, let me go find Knight here. And yeah, boys, that is it for game number three. Okay, and yes, guys, this is the deck that we did use for today's video. Now, we did, um, I think we picked up two wins, one loss. But the deck is incredibly good. I'm just not good with it. But that just says how good these kind of decks are. Like, I never play expensive kind of um, beatdown decks like this. And you can still pick it up and do well, which is just... Pretty insane whenever you think about it. So yeah, boys, if you did enjoy the, today's video, do be sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. We are on the road to 1,000 subs, and I would appreciate every single one of you. And yeah, boys, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.